Oakley inside battling uh, against Barkley. That's quite a combination in there. There's that lineup now. Barkley and Robinson starting at the forward. Sixers have five new players on this team since the season began. Here's one of them. Jaminski with the jump hook ball and drive and the dished Corzine. Rebound Robinson. Stripped away. Jordan to Sellers. Missed the layup. And now he's fouled. That was Jordan with the steal. He leads the NBA in steals. I told you before, I'm not sure how long he can play. I know he'll want to play the whole game. But Robinson got him airborne. Didn't get the foul. Didn't get the basket. Oakley outlet to Jordan. What a move. Over Barkley. That's a bad mistake when you're going against Michael Jordan and you're back as a defensive man, Bob. If you can't see that you have a 100% chance to get the steal, you have to retreat. Otherwise, you'll see exactly the same results. Jim Lynham with a 22nd timeout for Philadelphia. The 76ers have a four-game home win streak going. And here's Michael finishing it off. He gets major yeast on this one. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Leading the NBA in scoring, 34 points a game. We saw Charles Barkley, who normally likes to challenge people coming in. And when he saw Michael at a full head of steam, you saw him just clear right on out of the way. Jim Lynham has five new players since the season started. The left ankle you're looking at is that of Charles Barkley. He only played 18 minutes last night against New Jersey. Philadelphia having played at New Jersey last night and lost. New York Knicks also lost last night. So they remain tied in the battle for the eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Barkley muscling inside, missing the hoop, getting the foul. And when you say muscling in with Charles Barkley, it's a very apropos. <laughs> Oakley with the first move. There's the well-dressed GQ look of Doug Collins. Check that handkerchief out. He is dressed for the Superstation today. He told me, he said he specifically had his man Gallagher in Chicago getting ready for tonight's national telecast. Is that Gallagher the comedian? That's right. Oh. <laughs> Horace Grant into the ballgame early for Charles Oakley. Horace Grant, the number two first-round draft choice of the Chicago Bulls from Clemson, and he's been playing well. In fact, actually, he has made more progress than, than Scotty Pippen, who everyone was very high on. And Scotty went through a, a difficult adjustment or transition period, but he's starting to come into his own. The big problem with them, Bob, is down the stretch, uh, they're lousy free throw shooters, and it's going to get to the point where teams are going to start fouling them intentionally to put them on the line because they have been a disaster at that area of one element of the ball game. Or and Brad Sellers, is a Brad Sellers is a soft player, uh, being seven feet tall. Both times he had an opportunity to go in there very strong and dunk both of those balls. He elected to finesse it in, and it didn't work. Here's Cliff Robinson. The reverse is blocked by Jordan. Rebound. Grant to trailing into Grant. He gets the basket and the foul. Wants to get the running game going. Wants to get into the open court. Here's an example of what happens. Michael Jordan comes up with the big defensive the play. Grant, he gets fouled across the arm and carries it up strong to the basket. And that's an excellent fast break on the part of the Bulls. And there's those lousy free throws we're talking about. Horace Grant only shooting 62%. And that was his 149th attempt. So you can see that he has a lot of opportunities to score for Chicago, but not doing very well at that position. Barkley rebounding and scoring. Yeah, Charles definitely uh, running very gingerly on that ankle. Ankle will get even more sore than it is, Bob. Cliff Robinson, the jump hook in the lane. He really come apart when he's not on the floor. Another rebound by Barkley. But well, he's well, very slow getting down court. You know, like New Jersey beat them yesterday, and they didn't look good at all. The Sixers got to see that game on TV. Robinson. He may be the best, at least currently, the best perimeter shooter on this Philadelphia team, although I sure like Mo Cheeks in a clutch. Here's Jordan on the penetration. Hoop and the line. It's on Albert King, and we have a timeout Philadelphia with the Bulls leading 17 to 10 in six minutes, 48 seconds to go. Quarter number one from the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Uh, drawing some attention. Watch Michael Jordan with the ball as he starts to drive. You see Albert King on a thousand once, thousand twice. And look at Charles Barkley, 34 is over there. Robinson was over to try and help out, but they still can't stop Michael Jordan. Well, you know, in Chicago, they've got uh, Oakley's rebounding total uh, of his final. first year in the NBA, who just came out of the CBA, who played at Duke. And so are the Sixers with 6.25 to go in the first. Bulls up by seven, but the big worry is Charles Barkley and his ankle. Barkley, player of the week in the NBA. This just announced Tuesday night. Co-captain of this ball club. Averaging 
28.4 points a game. He's fourth in the league. Jordan has Sellers low. Didn't go to him this time. Pulls it back out. Barkley draws a crowd, then hits the open David Wingate from the corner. David Wingate. Philadelphia climbing back in this thing, trailing by five with five minutes to go. First quarter. Jaminski. Rebound Jordan. Look at the large hands. He handles that ball like it's a softball instead of a basketball. Grant gets the basket. Fouled by Robinson. Talk about Grant's free throw as we look at it here, Rick. I'm going to try and watch it close up here and see if you can watch his form. Well, that one looked pretty good, although he, he kind of tends to close his fingers off and doesn't finish it off with his wrist and let it come rolling off of his fingers to get a much softer touch on it. Shooting 62%, but he's one out of two so far tonight. 22-14 Bulls. Javinsky. Jump hook falls. That's probably his best offensive weapon right there is a little jump hook in the paint on the baseline. It definitely is, and uh, Dave's got to play him to make him turn to the middle and use the left hand. Corzine off the glass. Doesn't get it. Grant's there again. Horace Grant playing very well off the bench. Came in for his, Oakley. I asked him if his brother Harvey was uh, nervous with the NCAAs coming. I said, yeah, he sure is. And I told him, I said, your time's coming with the playoffs. <laughs> Gerald Henderson made the drive. Dish to Robinson for the basket. Now it's four on two. Grant, the trailer gets the dish. Well, I'd say a Jimmy line of Tommy before the game. With five on the shot clock. Three. Shoots it with two. And hits it. Cliff Robinson. He's been the offensive story so far for Philadelphia. Season with some injuries, uh, in fact, for the last few seasons. But he's back to playing excellent basketball. Well, I don't know what's going to happen in this game. The game is you see Scotty Pippen coming in. story for Philadelphia. Tied with New York for that eight Eastern Conference playoff spot. Normally, you'd say, save your almost. It is stolen by Henderson, and he's fouled by Pippen. Actually, Scotty. back to the playoffs in a moment. Scotty didn't realize that that was a good foul, because Henderson had a layup if he didn't foul him. Watch Henderson. the ball well. Henderson gets screened off, makes the good recovery, and is able to quick. As a cat, get in there, knock it away, and foul from behind. Scotty Pippen, you can see Henderson had no one between himself and the basket, had an easy layup. Positions. What about the playoffs? I was going to say in the Eastern Conference, Philadelphia, 30 22 Bulls, 154 to go, first quarter. Shot clock to 10, stolen by Pippen. Fouled intelligently by David Wingate. Well, again, you mentioned that he has good athletic ability and there was a perfect uh, you want to exam. talk about a struggling free throw shooter only 55 percent how about the analysis of his form here comes Brad Sellers well, into the ball game. Sellers comes back in that was an excellent shot actually because what he did unfortunately for him was just shoot the ball a bit too hard and caught the back of the rim but he, he looked like he had pretty good rotation and pretty good form on the shot take another look at it here I think the big problem he's got when you're not shooting real well and you get up there and you take so much time to shoot it you get to thinking about it uh, that may be the worst thing let's watch him again so he's taking so much time goes up nice follow through again he's long he's shooting it straight but he's long and we're going to get a look at it again. The last nine Violet. games, Scotty Pippen is shooting 55% from the floor and only 55% on the season from the free throw line. He missed them all. And that one was flat. You know, I would, if I had a change in Bob, I'd get him to shoot the ball going up to the basket a little more, get a little softer touch on it. Henderson from the baseline. They gave him the extra shot because they said the official scorer tells us that David Wingate was bothering the shooter. You can rarely see that call. Stolen by Henderson. Oh, he's off to a good start off the bench in this ball game. Saved it. Coleman. Tip in Jaminski. It's a four-point Bulls lead. And isolated against Henderson. Shot clock to seven. Nice pass to Jordan. Henderson have learned just right now that George Carl has resigned as the head coach of the Golden State Warriors and we'll have complete details on that story and what's going to happen with his resignation at Golden State at halftime with Craig Sager. Well I would think that that would mean uh, well I don't know what it's going to mean for this season. I think that Don Nelson had cleared the way to be able to coach again should he choose to do so next season. Uh, they worked something out with Milwaukee but what happens for the remainder of this season. Uh, We'll have to wait and find out. So George Carl out. He resigned as head coach of Golden State today. Shot pulls it back out. 
Wingate guarding Jordan. And the foul. I tell you, that's incredible. You can see David Wingate. Michael got the ball. He was so afraid of Michael's driving ability to draw the foul and get around Wingate, who is one of the better defensive guards in the NBA. 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Bulls by four. And Jordan, an excellent free throw shooter at the line. Golden State, talking about George Carl resigning. Golden State had lost five in a row. They are 16 and 48 on the year. And they would be in last place with the exception. They are in the Pacific Division and the Clippers are in last place. Yeah, but the Clippers aren't all that far behind them. Three games. Harold Henderson. Defense by John Paxson. Hits the open David Wingate who hits the bucket. Great play by Henderson. One second in the quarter. Jordan from New Jersey. <laughs> and he misses by a few. Bulls lead by four. They had been up by ten. But the Sixers are battling back. Two-point game. Offensive foul on Scotty Pippen as he tried to set a screen for Michael Jordan, who was coming on the baseline. I think Henderson, I agree with you, has really been the man to help turn things around here. He's done a good job defensively. He's run the Get club it. well. Bulls by two with the ball. Sellers to Pippen from the baseline. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. That's his third personal. And Albert King comes back into the game wearing number 17. That's Bernard's brother, of course. So Thornton had played with the New York Knicks. Bulls have maintained the lead. They led by four at the end of one. Charles Barkley, since you notice he's not in the game probably, has a sore left ankle. Sprained it last night against New Jersey. Jordan from the perimeter. Michael Jordan. He's not hurting, and he's got 12 along with five rebounds. Milwaukee in the battle for the fourth and final home court advantage playoff spot. Henderson hit that one. We talk about New Jersey from Pittsburgh. Paxson. Good long range shooter. He misses Oakley into rebound. Kept it alive for Grant to score. Charles Oakley to get it. Another area that Jimmy Lynham says that he's concerned about playing in the Chicago team. Wingate from the perimeter. That's a two-pointer. 42-35 Bulls. Thornton with the rebound. Going to be a loose ball foul against Horace Grant. That's his third. Pippen also with three. So the two Chicago rookies both have early foul trouble. Corzine coming back into the game for Chicago. Probably get uh, Horace Grant to sit down. Well, the centers are back in. Jaminski and Nikorzim be battling the tournament. North Carolina is still in there this year. And some people are wondering if J.R. Reed is going to come out early. There's a North Carolina grad in this ball game. Michael Jordan. Back inside pass to King, and he's fouled and will go to the line. And Jordan re-enters the game for Chicago. Paxson will sit down. That's Sellers' second personal. Third team foul. Yeah, Bob, it's really hard to figure out, uh, but I guess it's probably because of their... Six on the shot clock for Chicago. Oakley pulls up, misses. Loose ball foul. It's on Chicago. And those are the kind of shots I know Doug Collins does not like to see Charles Oakley taking. Charles Oakley is a great rebounder in the body of, of a man who should be a rebounder, who has the mind of an outside jump shooter. Game. Could be Ben Coleman. I wouldn't bet on it. He just checked back into the game. Jaminski from the Purim Benson. Michael Jordan over Winsgate, and Jaminski caused him to change his shot. He's averaging nearly 12 for Chicago. This is his 11th straight start. Robinson with the turnaround from the corner over Brad Sellers. Now, for a lot of players, coaches would pull their hair at that, but not Cliff Robinson. That's his game. Robinson is going to take it all away and gets the finger roll. 12 points for Cliff Robinson. The entries into the NBA, and yes, that is the man in the commercial with... Michael Jordan, Spike Lee, he'll join Rick and I at halftime also. Fascinating young man, film director. Made a very successful entry into showbiz. Actor as well. Acted in this movie. Sixers guards off the bench have been doing well. Both Henderson and Wingate with eight points since coming in for Mo Cheeks and starter Albert King. Look at the acceleration by Jordan. Didn't have anything to do with it, but he did hit the open man, Vincent, who got it back to Michael for the basket. Well, that's a long way to go. I'm sure Doug Collins drew that play up during the during the breakaway. In front, couldn't get him the ball. Wingate hits the three-pointer. David Wingate, 
That'll get you back into a ball game. Bulls up by four now with a minute and a half to go until halftime. The ocean from there tonight. Here's Cheeks on the break. Blocked and fouled by Dave Corzine, and Cheeks hit the floor hard. He's all right. Gerald Henderson back in. And Corzine has two now. Wingate will take a rest with the minute. Corzine checks in at about 265 pounds. Mo Cheeks about 180, wet. <laughs> And wearing galoshes. Well, the Bulls had a chance to really put this game away early, and they, they let down just a little bit, and now they've got a, a real effort that they're going to have to come up with to win this one on the road. Jordan with 16 points. He's about halfway to his league-leading average of 34 points a game. Foul by Sellers on the second effort, but as a defensive player, one thing the good defensive te coaches teach, Bob, is when you go out, you go out under control and you stay low so you don't get your body weight and momentum carrying forward so you don't allow exactly what you saw happen to take place. They get Sellers out of there with the three, and, and Jaminski with that free throw just made his 40, 40th consecutive free throw and his 41st. 987 counting on the shot clock. And the foul is going to be on Michael Jordan. As he gets Gerald Henderson. I should shot. be getting airtime tonight. I'm wearing a California Rick Berry tie. That is really hot stuff. Michael Jordan liked my tie. Well, some people have class. Half the Bulls with a two point lead. And I wouldn't want to be chatting with Doug Collins if I'm a Chicago Bulls player right now. He's not happy with his team's effort. Golden State is getting ready to take the court tonight against Sacramento with a new coach. Moments ago, George Carl resigned. Team owner James Fitzgerald says he will offer the job to Don Nelson, the team's general manager. If he doesn't want it, it's up to him to find somebody who does. Assistant coach Ed Gregory is in charge tonight and for the remainder of this season. The Warriors are 16 games behind last year's pace. Thank you, Craig Sager. Two points, Chicago lead at halftime. Michael Jordan has been playing well for the Bulls, but they led Philadelphia back With Michael Jordan. Well, my character in the film... She's got to have it was named Mars Blackman. He wore the first Air Jordans. So I went back to Nike and said, you might be a good, it might be a good idea to do this spot. But they weren't so keen on it. But Mike saw the movie and loved it. He went back to Nike and they said, do it. So we didn't do it the first year because our schedules were conflicting. But we finally did it last December. We shot the two spots in the December. I hear on one of the first takes that you blocked one of his dunk attempts. Yes, there's another commercial called Hang Time yeah. where I'm hanging on the rim. And the first time he tried to dunk, I blocked it. It became personal with me. So the next eight takes, he threw it down harder each time. And so I had a bruised chest by the time we finished that day. <laughs> 18 so minutes could... total against New Jersey. Had his season low two points. Jaminski with the hook from the baseline. And this game is tied at 55. Starting lineups in there for both teams. Chicago with Vincent and Jordan in the backcourt. Corzine, Oakley, and Sellers up front. Jordan rattles it home. Has 18 in this game. Cheeks. Gets Vincent in the air and then penetrates. Oh, my. Can Maurice Cheeks still play? The answer resounding. Capital letter, yes. Tenth in the NBA in assists this year. Seventh in steals currently. Javinsky with the steal to Cheeks. Pass Vincent. And all of a sudden, the Sixers have taken the lead for the first time in this ballgame. 59-57, and Doug Collins has a timeout in Chicago. 22nd timeout, Bob, because he wants to go ahead and get things straight. The Bulls trail by two. Jordan off the Oakley screen. Moved King to the center of the court, then took it back to the left for the penetration layup. Jaminski picks up his third foul. You know, it's still such a nice luxury to have as a coach a player like Michael Jordan to be able to go to at any time. And normally the man responds. Michael Jordan with 21 points, leading the NBA, scoring at 34 points per game, had 50 just last week against the Boston Celtics. Cheeks answers. Thinks one of the best point guards of the future in Vincent. He believes he's going to be here for a while. Michael Jordan's got 23 now. That'll possibly change Chicago's look at uh, drafting if, if they truly feel that Vincent could be their answer as the starting point guard. Well, they want to get a forward if they can, a forward who could score points consistently for them. Nice bounce pass. 
from Jordan to Vincent. Gets it into Oakley. Nice no look pass to Michael Jordan from Charles Oakley. Barkley handling the ball. Coast to coast, Charles Barkley. Well, I don't know if he had a miracle recovery there at halftime or what happened, but that's the most aggressive that he's been with the basketball in his hands this evening. His uh, the brace and the heavy taping on the outside of his left ankle is now gone. Two times down, the Bulls just went to the quick shot by Michael. And Barkley answers over Horace Grant. Got Horace Chicago over. shot clock. Sellers open. Missing rebound Jordan stuck it back in that was just a great play because a lot of players would have caught the ball come back down then gone up Michael with that great athletic ability of his was able to shoot it on the way down with great control Michael Jordan eight assists 28 rebounds 27 points in this ball game Jaminski battles it inside over Oakley along with Coleman for Henson and Tim McCormick January 16th. Six on the shot clock for Jordan. Spin move. Boy, Michael and I, I didn't have to play against him in every guard, Bob. I tell you, what a, what a thankless job that must be. It could be punishment for somebody, okay? The deal is for being late to practice, you're guarding Jordan. He has 13 of the 15 bull points in this quarter. Well, I tell you, Cliff Robbins does an unbelievable job of dipping his right shoulder into people whenever he makes that move, and he never gets called for an offensive foul, it seems. He does it almost every it's time. It's a good ball game from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, knotted at 70. And here's one of the many great moves that Michael Jordan has for you. Little one-on-one -on -one going against Albert King. Look at that little fake with the mouth is shuffling to the right, to the left. Goes left, gets him committed, spins back quickly. Could have easily been called for a foul against Albert King as Michael Jordan gets two of his many points tonight. You've heard of the head fake. Well, Michael Jordan has introduced the tongue or and or mouth fake into the NBA. <laughs> I know you saw in slow motion, saw his whole mouth kind of wiggling back and forth there. He gave so many motions with the head. And Charles Barkley came in for a good third quarter. It's tied at 70 with 536 remaining. Barkley's one of the contenders for the most valuable player in the NBA this year. Some of his stats are down, but his play certainly hasn't been. Uh, right now, my vote for MVP would go to uh, Michael Jordan based on his overall contributions. I think his defense gets him the nod for me. Of course, Bird and Magic Johnson are right there in the voting, too. Jordan doesn't get the basket, but he'll go to the line. What do you well, think, Jimmy Lynham said, uh, and I'll answer your question in a second, I hate to see Michael get to the baseline. We're supposed, they were supposed to try and force him back to the middle. Obviously, it didn't work that time as he got the baseline move and the clear path, and Charles Barkley picks up the foul, and Jimmy, I'm sure, is not pleased by that defensive effort. Well, I would have to say that certainly uh, he's a front runner. I, I think Magic Johnson certainly have another outstanding season as well. And, uh, and, and it's very hard to discount Larry Bird. I would think those are the three top candidates as far as I'm concerned. Jordan said that even though MVP would be an award he would be happy to receive, he wants to be on the all-defense team in terms of, of a personal achievement. Of course, he's first in the league in steals right now just out of the top 10 in block shots with 105. Well, you saw the great quickness and anticipation there, and he came within a half an inch of gaining control of that one. Rolled, but didn't get the ball back. Cheeks instead penetrates. Barkley is there. Charles Barkley. The first half. Inside to Grant. Over Barkley. Another rebound. That's eight for Charles. Sixers up by one. Chance to build their biggest lead, which would be three of the game, as Pippen is getting set to come in for Chicago. <laughs> Jaminski intercepted that pass off the glass Cliff Robinson that pass was intended for Barkley Jaminski intercepted and made the pass I'd like to know what Al Domenico did to Charles Barkley I mean, he's not limping around anywhere near like he did in the first half of course removing that special little pad or whatever he had on his ankle may have been making him think about it a lot more Jordan is fouled inside and Jimmy Ryan I'm showing you how he felt about that last call hey, Vincent now the Bulls break well, I'll tell you, he made a sidestep, and most players would have difficulty just gaining control. Not only did he gain control, but he took it home from the dunk. Jordan has had 52 twice this year, got 50 last week against Boston, has 33 tonight with 3.49 to go in the third. He has 17 points in this quarter. Minsky on the double team puts that jump hook up anyway. Turned that into a little shot put type shot, actually. Sixers by two. 
Here's Barkley with 10 on the shot clock against Horace Grant. They've cleared the side. He's fouled, doesn't get the hoop. Showed some quickness there with a sore ankle. He limps back to the free throw line now. Horace Grant with his hands on his head didn't like the call. You see Charles Barkley, he had these little kind of supports on the side of his ankle that were on in the first half, and now those supports are missing, and I'm sure that they probably removed them and did just a little more, more of a severe or a tighter tape job on him. And a lot of times, Bob, I know myself when I had a bad knee, I, I finally got to the point where I stopped wearing any type of a support or brace on it because you tend to think more about it when, when you put something extra on it. That may have been the case with Charles. Grant picked up his fourth foul on that play, and Oakley's in for Grant now, goes to the bench, and here's some coaching from Doug Collins. It's Barkley now with 14 points and eight rebounds. Well, we knew Michael Jordan would bring his show here, but he's challenging Barkley on his home turf, and Barkley has responded courageously. Here are tonight's Honda leaders, brought to you by Honda, makers of CRX, Civic, Accord, and Prelude. Test drive one at your local Honda dealer today. Two of the top four scorers in this game tonight, and Michael Jordan at 34 a game, Barkley at 28-1. You see Wilkins and Bird next Tuesday night. Rick and I will be in Atlanta to see Wilkins, who's second, and Mark Aguirre of the Dallas, if Mark is feeling better by then. I, I don't know if he'll be back in the game or not. He's eighth in scoring in the NBA. Yeah, Roy but Tarp his replacement, Roy Tarpley, not too bad. What, 28 points, 24 rebounds? <laughs> Via scoreboard, Boston beating Washington. Philadelphia fans will see that as good news. And in the fourth, Cleveland leading New Jersey, 99-94. Big important win there if they can hold on for Cleveland. At the Spectrum in Philadelphia, it's tied at 78, 245 to go in the third quarter. Robinson muscling inside, missing. Here comes Jordan. Stopped by Cheeks. Beautiful defensive play by Mo Cheeks for Chicago. Last two times these teams played here, it was a one-point victory, uh, I believe, by Philadelphia. And Doug Collins went crazy uh, to the timer as Barkley gets it in. Oh -ho! Charles Barkley with a show of his own here. He doesn't want Jordan stealing all the thunder. Charles Barkley. Let's watch him again. The superior strength. Charles Barkley as he gets double teamed. Paxson comes in, grabs his arms, falling backwards with somebody holding onto his arms and still enough strength to throw it up and in, but can't capitalize on the free throw. This is the free throw. Barkley with 16 points and eight rebounds in this ball game. It's tied at 80. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. It's a good one from the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Pippen came off a baseline screen. Stepped out of bounds now, before he hit the hoop. There's where he's going to learn. He had Cliff Robinson totally out of position. Had he not driven to the basket, he could have let Cliff land on him, picked up his fourth foul, gone to the line himself with a chance for a three-point play. That's the inexperience of Pippen on that play. Now, I tell you, when you're an offensive player, you want to get the ball. If you feel you're open, you kind of ask for it. There's Michael uh, saying, hey, guys, I'm here. <laughs> Gerald Henderson with the drive. Jaminski is fouled hard. Oakley goes to the floor hard after the foul. Well, I tell you, he hit Jaminski hard, and Jaminski threw Oakley to the ground with a great deal of authority. Let's watch it again. Here's Jaminski, 42 and White going up. Oakley's on him, hits him good, and Jaminski takes him and throws him down after he hammered him. Looked like Oakley hit his head on the floor. He's all right, or appears to be. We'll keep a watch on that confrontation for a few minutes. And the streak is broken. was 40 straight before Jaminski missed. Started a new one. Now let's keep our eye on Oakley and Jaminski here if they match up on each other. Oakley's against Barkley. This is Barkley defense him well. Loose ball foul. Scotty Pippen over the back. That's five, that's four on Pippen. shooting foul as both teams are in the penalty. Robinson with 16 points tonight, five rebounds. Doug Collins talking to his assistant veteran John Bach, second year with the Bulls, 37 years a coach. Cowboy John always got the Western wear on tonight. Ed Gregory, an assistant, the interim coach. 
Shot clock to 10 for Chicago. Pippen pulling up and going off the glass. Uh, if they can untrack Pippen at Chicago, they will find that that three position scorer they need. But as of right now, Chicago not with a real good 20 point a game type quick forward scorer. Cheeks into Barkley, who's into the lane. Who's got it into the hoop. 18 for Barkley. At six at the half. Almost stolen by Cheeks. That wouldn't be the first time. Barkley. Cheeks. We're going to go the other way to shoot it. Tied at 84. They say that Charles pulled him down. Let's watch. 34 in the white. There you see Charles Barkley pushes off. Now he grabs him with the right hand and pulls oh. him back. And he argued that one. Come on, Charles, give us a break. <laughs> there was absolutely no blood on that foul. He pushed him first and then yanked him on the second one. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Bulls had led by two at halftime and have managed to hold on to that lead. A regained it, I guess. They did lose the lead early in the third quarter. <laughs> if you want to reach Rick, call Bob, his manager. Here you go, Showtime, Air Jordan and Sir Barkley. You know, I like something you said earlier as you look at their stats. If these two guys were boxers, Sugar Ray Jordan, Sugar Ray Jordan and, uh, and marvelous uh, Charles Barkley. <laughs> of course, they're not in the same weight division, you know. The boxer <laughs> and the puncher. It's probably a pretty good analogy, though. Sugar Ray Jordan, I like that. Marvelous Marvin Barkley. I don't know if he'd like Marvin. There's Sugar Ray scoring. 35 for Michael Jordan in this ball game, and it's 88-84 Bulls by four. Jordan kept it alive. Nice outlet from Corzine. Blocked by Cheeks. Sparrow couldn't get it down. Cheeks right back with the ball. <laughs> He's fouled on the play. Now, Bob, if that happened when you were playing ball, that'd be stuck up there until you guys can get a garbage can or something. or put, you, you get Spike Lee and put him on your shoulders, right? That's what you can do. Get Spike and put him on your shoulders. I always carried another ball with me just to get it down. You see Maurice with the perfect timing on the block against Rory Sparrow back down the other end. Again, Maurice surveys the situation, sees the opening, puts on a burst of speed, knives through, gets fouled, and we get the wedge shot. I would uh, cry all day back in the backyard. My ball wedged up there. <laughs> Way to get it down. <laughs> Cheeks with 12 assists tonight to go with his 12. To go with his 8 point, 9 points now. Coleman pushing off on that missed free throw. Maurice having a tough, uh, difficult time at the free throw line tonight. He's 3 of 6 at the line is Mo Cheeks tonight. Normally an 82% shooter. Bulls by 3. 10.59 to go in the ball game. Rory Sparrow. It into Corzine, wanted to hit Jordan breaking down the lane. Jordan on the double team, and I'm talking serious double team. They're going to give Gerald Henderson the foul. His first, second team foul. See Michael coming from the weak side. He beats his man there, and that's where all of the problems start. There's the double team and the foul, but you cannot let Michael Jordan come from the weak side to the strong side where the ball is. And Otherwise, you're in trouble. Over the double team again. And Jordan now with 39 points in the game. 39 for Jordan. I think he's showing off for Spike. His season high is 52. Talking about Spike Lee, who's our halftime guest. We appreciate that. The very talented young film director. Cliff Robinson with the left hand won't fall. Rebound Pippen. Spike also uh, acts in his movies. It's one way to get a job acting. <laughs> Bad shot by Pippen. Cheeks on the break. Oh, what a play by Maurice Cheeks. He has 11. Stolen back by Corzine. Jordan just pulls up and shoots it. He's got 41. Michael Jordan. 11 times, now 12 times this season, Jordan has scored more than 40. 92-87 Bulls by five. See Barkley coming back in. Now watch Michael Jordan. See Chaminsky, who's scared to death now having to guard him. Here's that one-handed fake. Makes Chaminsky jump back about six feet. He says, well, if you're not going to guard me, I guess I'll take the jumper. Lane violation. He'll get to try it again. Horace Grant being waved into the ball game. And Oakley will take a rest for Chicago. <laughs> Charles always one uh, to have an opinion coming from one who usually always has an opinion. I can appreciate that. Barkley with a rebound. Oh. 
Henderson got Grant to come out on him. Passes inside to Charles. Good aggressive ball movement. Barkley with an intelligent pass way outside for Henderson. Gave him a potential three-point opportunity when he saw Grant coming. Back to Barkley for the basket. Brad Sellers getting set to come back in for Chicago as Pippen gets it inside. Nice move by Scotty Pippen. Now he's a very effective down there. He's not as effective when they get him out on the wing. He should spend the whole offseason, Bob, pra practicing shooting from 18 feet and then facing the basket and learning to put it on the floor and handle it just a little bit better going forward. Bulls by five. Barkley spinning into the lane. Gives to Robinson, who's fouled. This comes in for Chicago. Uh, it just shows you what a remarkable athlete and how good he can be at times. He's got 20 points, nine rebounds, and minutes really didn't look effective at all here in the second half. He's still not the normal Charles Barkley. He's still able to accomplish so much playing at maybe three, quarter, three quarters of his ability. Gerald Henderson, nice pass to Jaminski, who's hammered hard but misses the layup. Nice pick and roll play, one of the most basic plays in the game of basketball, and yet one of the most difficult to defend is Grant, who came over to help out from the weak side, picks up the foul. Watch it again. There's the screen. Jaminski rolls. He doesn't follow the ball, which I didn't like. The clear opening, there's Grant coming over and picking up the foul. When you set a screen, I really like to see the player follow the man the way that he's going and spin and rotate in that way because that way if the ball's knocked loose, you can see it, you can pick it up. The way Jaminski went, if something had happened, he would have never been in a position to help his teammate. Grant was just playing like a man of fire in the first half, had 11 first half points and four rebounds and had really played well, but got into foul trouble. Now with five, he has to sit down. As Corzine returns to action, Bulls leading it by four. There are Pippen and Grant. Pippen has five fouls, as does Grant. It's three-point Bulls lead. Grant and Pippen are not ready for full-fledged entry into the... Not ready for prime time players? Not ready for prime time, <laughs> but they are going to be. Jordan to miss, and Barkley to rebound. Jordan, I think, with a foul going for the steal. That's his fourth. Doug Collins talked about that today as we had lunch with Doug. He talked about Michael, however, being able to play. One of those players in the league is so talented he can play with four or five. <laughs> trying to help out the officials of you being the nice person that he is. Charles, get him a whistle. Charles Barkley from Auburn, where I first saw him play. And he was so dominating then, and he was so heavy. They called him, of course, everybody remembers the round mound of rebound. Well, I'll tell you what, though. You talk about a character, and Charles Barkley being one. Uh, Sonny Smith down there isn't exactly, uh, <laughs> you know, your Joe Average person. He did a great job coaching Auburn this year with a lot of problems. Jordan has 43. 98-93, Bulls by five. Do you think he's going to get 50 tonight? Yes, I agree. Had 52 twice this year, Jordan. Barkley hammers it inside. He gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Doug a little upset about the defense being played right now by his team, and uh, we've got a timeout. 6.55 to go in the game. It's a good one. Bulls have a narrow five-point lead. It's time for the Gatorade Slam Dunk. We're in the outlet to Robertson in the open floor. Look out. Oh! Oh, we! Another Gatorade Slam Dunk. Uh, Michael Jordan, uh, people think offense is all glamour. You just get to shoot the ball. But yeah, look what he does to try and get himself open at times. I mean, he has to work very hard. People double-team him. He moves off his of screens. Now he gets the position low. This is one of the easier efforts on his part as he goes up for the shot. You have to really put a great deal of effort into getting free, getting open, because you, you draw so much attention defensively. Well, you drew a great deal of attention defensively when you played. What are some of the tricks that he uses that you use that any scorer would? Well, of course, if you've got a guy who's really overly aggressive defensively, I'd like to have a guy like that because he's going to react to everything you do, so it's a lot easier to fake him out of position, but you need your teammates' help. you got to run guys into screens. you got to fake back door, come back out if they're overplaying you, and that expends a great deal of effort. So for Michael to be the outstanding defensive player he is down the other end of the court putting that energy forth, playing so many minutes, I think it's quite a tribute to his performance. Charles Barkley had hit six in a row, five in a row uh, from the free throw line. Now he's missed three. 
gets this one, and it is a four-point game. 6.54 remaining. Shot clock to six. Cheeks is open. He'll hit those late in a game all night long. Jordan on the double team. Vincent open up at the top of the key, gets the ball. And gets the basket. Well, he is powers it inside. This is the shot, and boy, there's a battle. Jump ball, Oakley and Barkley. Well, I'll tell you, see, the good thing that they finally did that time defense and Jemiski has made him go to his left. And you can see his left hand is nowhere near as good. There he loses the control of the ball, and there are the two behemoths battle for it. Eastern Conference trench warfare basketball <laughs> that's as good a, well, you got Jaminski and Oakley and Barkley down inside there you're talking some major muscle Philadelphia gets the tip told us that he his team has not executed well in close ball games stripped away Gerald Henderson knocked it out of bounds it'll belong to Chicago with nine Lock. seconds on the 102 96 Chicago we talked about Jordan having uh, there's a score Jordan having 43 points he also has 12 rebounds Cleveland got an important win for them tonight, snapping that losing streak over New Jersey. No, Michael, a chance to get a few points closer to that magic 50 mark. Gerald Henderson with his third personal foul now. Jordan gets two free throw attempts. I, I kind of lost it, shuffled through it so quickly. You might not have noticed what I said. Jordan has 12 rebounds in the ball game, and that leads all rebounders, including Oakley and Barkley. And watch him again. Look at there's that face and that little shaking there in the mouth. There comes the tongue. There's the foul, and Michael at the free throw line. <laughs> the face fake. 104-96 Bulls. Five minutes to go. 45 points for Michael Jordan. Robinson against Sellers. Scores over Brad Sellers. He's shooting that over a seven footer. Robinson 6'9. Six, six point Bulls lead. Jordan had three players hanging near him, and he's got 47. And a wise move. He caught it, made the spin to the base. I went up for the shot. The triple team was over there, but that should be a block. Good call. Good call, and the foul will be number four against Gerald. And 12 assists. It belongs to Philadelphia. The 13th rebound of this game for Michael Jordan. I think 13 is a season high. Talk about Doug Collins and his snappy dressing. Jimmy Lynham looking pretty good here tonight, too, with his power tie. Well, I, don't know about, tie. I don't know about that white card in his, in his pocket, though, in the, in the pocket on his shirt. I'd have to question that. That's yeah. a Fred Mad Dog Carter, number former 76er, the assistant for Jim Lynham. Jordan hits Benson, who misses this time. It's three on three. Cheeks to Robinson. What a pull up. He gets the hoop and he'll go to the line. That's a big bucket for Philadelphia with 3.07 to go in the game. The free throw here could make it a seven point deficit. Great effort on the part of Cliff Robinson. Now watch Cliff Robinson make this drive on the baseline. He'll hear the whistle. Well, oh, there's the foul. Gets hit. And he wisely gets the ball up with the left hand, doing a great job of it. But once you hear that whistle and you have the ball, if you're an offensive player, you find some way to get it up. Boy, Boy. free throws have killed him. Barkley is there. Turns into a benefit on the miss. But you're right. With the free throws falling for Philadelphia, this game would be tied. Instead, the Bulls lead by six. <laughs> Michael still hasn't gotten that 50. Knocked out of bounds with six seconds on the shot clock. Ball will belong to go. Chicago. Gerald Henderson, nice penetration. Jaminski gets the jam, but he offensively interfered. Won't count. Play by Cheeks. Give him a steal on that to Robinson. Cheeks is there to follow it up, but couldn't get it to fall. Rick has consented to play around the golf with me. I'm 
practicing, even though I'm a little nervous. Uh, we need a three-pointer from Jordan to hit that 50-point mark, Rick, if we're going to have our... He gets two. 49 for Jordan with a minute to go. I don't think he's going to get left. It. Stripped away by Cheeks, but Sellers is back to get it. Blocked by Barkley! Of course, with 36 seconds left, good play by Barkley from the block against Sellers back to live action. Don't give it up, Michael. <laughs> and it looks like Jordan's going to end up with 49 points. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy anyway. But our prediction well, as goes usual, we were wrong. Charles Barkley with a courageous, tremendous effort here tonight. Had 23 points, 13 rebounds, and Jim Lyme, Lynham's four-game home winning streak is going to come to a close. Cheeks for three. Missing with nine to go in the ball game. Jordan is out of there now. Grant, Pippen, Sellers, Corzine, and Vincent will just dribble away the time. And the Bulls win this one. 118 to 102. It was that third quarter explosion by Jordan that kept Chicago in the playoff game. spot. Our player of the game, Michael Jordan for Miller Lite. On behalf of Miller Lite Turner Broadcasting, proud to donate $1,000 to the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation in the name of Air Jordan.